$1.84.9. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Ouch. Yikes. Well, <laughs> that was the most money I've ever spent on gas. Holy schmoly. Thanks for watching my videos. Thanks to my channel members. Thanks to my supporters over on Patreon. Wow. You really help out a lot, guys. Thanks. All right. Let's get going. We have three stops to do. Uh, four stops to do. Number one, coffee. Well, that was number one, I guess. So five stops all together. We've done one. Gas was first. Number two is coffee. Number three, uh, we have to go to a grocery store and pick up a few things for dinner tonight. I have most of the stuff. I just need ground beef and uh, macaroni noodles. It's gonna be awesome. I've been looking forward to this ever since I found this recipe. And just in case, I wanna stop in at Canadian Tire, unless the grocery store has it, uh, and get a butane uh, thing for the stove. Uh, I definitely know I used one last year. Put a new one on, and I'm not exactly sure how full it is. So I bet uh, it'd be better if I just grab another couple cans, and then we're safe, right? Then we're gonna hit the beer store, grab a few beers, and then uh, we'll head up to our camping spot for the night. And uh, we'll do a little hike first. And then we'll come back to the uh, Rusty here and, and uh, cook our dinner. And by the way, as of yesterday, March 9th, was Rusty's one year anniversary on KBD Productions TV. So it would be awesome if you congratulated Rusty for sticking around with us for a whole year not sure how much longer Rusty's going to be with us. Uh, I'm hoping for a long time, at least maybe another six months to a year. See how many more videos we can get out of them. And uh, I hope you guys stick around to see all those videos. All right, let's get going. items one at a time. 12, 97. 4, 77. 1, 97. 6, 47. Health is required for this item. Please continue oh. scanning other items. Health is all. And one bag, please. Thank you very much. Bye. Not sure if you noticed, 
but we have a new awesome upgrade from set power this is the rv 45s they sent me one of these because they love the channel and they want me to check it out try it out and see if it's any good uh so i yesterday i uh plugged it in yesterday afternoon so it's been running for 24 hours so far uh you'll hear the motor run for a little bit and then it stops when you first plug it in it runs for obviously a little while uh, before it gets to temperature once it's to temperature it maintains that temperature for a very very long time before it kicks on again so right now i've got it plugged into the battery generator here and uh, we are now at 88 percent so i plugged this in yesterday at 100 percent it's been running for 24 hours we st and it's right now it's not using any power whatsoever maybe one watt uh which is nothing and uh this thing is so cool it's got some controls on the side you can set your desired temperature you can do your maximum or minimum compressor speed and uh, I, I just keep it on low or minimum and low uh, it's plugged in into my dc it also has uh ac to dc adapter so you can plug it in at home if you're having a party you need some extra space uh, it came with some really cool stickers i'll be putting them somewhere on rusty but uh, that's the little user manual and uh, so far my favorite thing is the fact that it is not using up my battery like the old uh, cooler it's got these really neat handles that uh, come up to here and then they stop at that point so they don't go all the way up and pinch your fingers against the side so the handles are an amazing uh, durability the whole all the, uh, the all four sides and the bottom are metal so uh, the only thing is the when they shipped it to me uh it got a dent here on the shipping and one down here uh in the shipping i'll show you a picture of how badly it got banged around uh trying to get to my house and uh we've got these amazing latches that keeps it nice and sealed tight uh check this out when you open it up a light comes on and illuminates the interior of your cooler which is amazing so i've got a few waters just to have stuff in here at the moment uh it's got two metal cages baskets that come out uh this is going to do us amazing guys i got my cheese for tonight i got my tomatoes for tonight i got my worcestershire sauce i've got some uh oil olive oil i just put as much stuff in here as possible let's do our unpacking these don't need to be refrigerated, but let's put them in there for now anyway. Uh, definitely need to put our meat in here. It's maintained also a three degrees Celsius, which is like 35, 36 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. I'm just gonna put all my ingredients in here because it doesn't matter if it's cold. <laughs> put my chips in there for later. Uh, we are set for the rest of the summer, hopefully. At least for a little while. I also found these uh, like a week or two ago and uh, I only have three left so I wanted to share that with you. Let's see, chances are that's probably gonna have to go down there. We'll put the beer up top. Look at that. Nice, fit standing up. But chances are this is gonna fall over anyway so I'm also put them in in the falled over position. Except for a couple of them. So a couple amazing things about this uh, that I love, and that's why I, I they reached out to me and I said, sure, sounds great. I'll give it a shot. And uh, a bunch of the things that I love about this, it's got baskets. So if you spilt something, you could pull out your basket, wipe it down, put your basket back in, and all the food comes out in one shot. Another thing uh, I discovered is uh, if you were to fill this up and then you wanted to move it, uh, you'd probably need two people or a really good back and uh, so what I discovered is you can take out your baskets move this to where you want and then just put your baskets back in and just do it in two or three trips and uh, that'll save it and it's going to be just an amazing add-on to Rusty here and it's nice and tall too so it's going to be my table uh, for nighttime. I'll put my other battery up there but it is not using a whole lot of power and that was the biggest thing when i first plugged it in it says it's only going to last about 44 hours 
but that was it trying to get to temperature. Now that it's temperature, it's not using any power and we're only at 88%. So uh, let's get up to our location, set up camp, and, uh, and then we'll go for a hike and then we'll cook dinner. Let's go. But of course, first, we are going to have to grab her coffee. I'm so excited, guys. This is gonna be a lot of fun for sure. Can I get a large black coffee, please? Anything else? That's it, thank you. Okay, travel. Oh, just looking at all that food. Haven't eaten anything since yesterday at seven o'clock. <laughs> Have a great day. Let's go camping. to our destination. Let's see if there's anybody else here. And one person. So this is a parking lot for people that want to go camping or just going on hikes. Uh, we were here last year uh, and we did the Texas dogs from Bucky's. Uh, but I went on a trek that way. Now I want to go on a trek this way and I'm hoping other people have used that track. This is going to be awesome, people. Awesome. The plow has come down here, cleared it a little bit. Not too much. We are in bear country. So there's that one car. But we're going to try and park in a spot that's not going to interfere with anybody else. It's all icy here, so I'm gonna also try and make sure that we're on level ground because last time we were here, we were kind of parked, I think, on a bit of a slant and I uh, slept kind of as if I was like sliding to the back of the car. So I think this might be a good spot. I don't think it's in anybody's way. I checked the news too, it's gonna snow tonight.
Looks like my neighbor's loft. I'm gonna park over there, it looks more level and less uh, slushy. Less slushy. So glad I bought new ones because I think it's dead. Wow. Brought some trail mix, basically nuts. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Don't waste it. No go. Mm. Well, not my sleeve. I added a half a tin of the diced tomatoes, a half a box of macaroni. Uh, I ground up some Himalayan pink salt and some black peppercorns crushed. And I put in a nice helping of uh, the Worcestershire sauce. And this will go on last. This is the uh, Crunchy Toppers French's Onion and uh, so put it all together and it's supposed to hopefully heat up soon, get hotter, get these noodles all nice and soft. Well, it's been like, I don't know, 40 minutes. <laughs> it's getting darker and darker. And I was hoping to have this whole segment done in the light. Uh, I can't find one of my flashlights that I bought which would work perfectly right now and also the stove even though I bought four new cans of fuel it doesn't the flame is just not high enough this is supposed to be boiling to get the noodles soft but I can't like I've taken the, the fuel tank out multiple times put it back in and I, like, again I cooked the, the beef totally fine I'm not sure if the stove just doesn't like working when it's cold out because um, there's nothing I can do to get that flame even higher and I have no other way of cooking this. So what I'm thinking is uh, 
We're probably about 40 minutes north of Barrie. Um, I'm thinking of just going down to the Canadian Tire in Barrie and buying either a new stove or maybe a Coleman or something so I can use the green tanks, which ne never seem to have a problem. Uh, we do have a Coleman stove thing at home. It's an older one, but I don't like, you know, this is a small little camper. I don't want to have a big two burner stove having to store that somewhere in here. So I'm going to pack up everything. We're going to book it back down to Barry, unfortunately. Uh, the, the food looks like it's going to be amazing, but I, I, I can't cook it. It needs to boil. The, the noodles need to get soft and I don't want to eat crunchy noodles. So uh, let's pack everything up and uh, we'll go down to Barry. This is uh, adding to the adventure, I guess, right? Okay, let's pack this up. What a disaster, people. Jeez. Shut her down, boys. Oh, what a pain. I did a quick Google search, and it turns out uh, there is a closer Canadian tire in Midland. It was only 23 kilometers away, as opposed to like 50. So uh, we're headed to Midland, buy a new stove so we can eat. Well, check the internet before I got here and it says it's open till nine, but it is closed. Parking lot is empty. Oh, the internet sucks sometimes. Found the Walmart. Now we gotta go and find a stove. They do have uh, camping stuff here, so hopefully they have what we need. There we go. That's what we need. This would be cool. But I think this is what I need. It's just for me, right? This is 40 bucks. That's $99. I could cook two things at the same time. So I bought a couple things. I bought this uh, bottle top stove. It's nice and small because it will just be this piece and the bot the base and I already have a bunch of these um, jars and so I'll just put that into there attach that to there and away we go and I also bought some lighting for inside rusty uh, when I'm doing the old stealth camp thing uh, I won't have to actually use the light that's on the camera and uh, that is a USB lighting strip so uh, let's first of all get our food heated up so we can eat Let's get in the back. Let's get out the lighting strip so we can see what we're doing. Comes with a remote control, all the different kinds of lightings and settings. We'll lose that for sure. We have a little plug, USB in that side, but we don't necessarily need that because I can just plug it into my Jackery and I'll be fine. Looks like I'm gonna be sleeping at Walmart tonight. I asked the management in there, so what is, what's your policies on uh, RV camping? And they're saying, as long as you park, this is, oh, this is a public parking lot. So as long as you park far enough away from the building, you'll be fine. So we are sleeping here tonight. I am not going any further. <laughs> so I'm guessing you just plug this in just like that. The other thing too, is I could use just this portable one. I was kind of hoping it would have a battery pack too, but I got my own battery pack. That's a sticker and that's a sticker, by the way. Uh, it's Power Ad is the company that sent me this to try out. And uh, I think it's been quite a few years and it's been awesome ever since I got it. Whoa! Holy schmoly, we don't need all those colors. Just watch it not have white. Jeez, it's, I guess it's going through like a cycle, a startup cycle. Don't need those colors, dude. There we go. Just straight up white off. Okay. It's, it's not very responsive. There we go. So let's hang this up somehow. It's probably gonna be too long. <laughs> Oh boy, come on buddy. It smells like plastic for sure, rubbery plastic. 
I'll hang these up and then we'll start cooking. Everything's set up. It is 10 degrees in here right now. We'll check again later. It will definitely get colder in here. Uh, I'm not gonna put the stealth window up there because we're right up against one of those cart return things. And uh, so, but car, every once in a while a car will go by this window. So I really don't want people to hopefully know we're cooking noodles in here. I don't have enough for everybody, you know? Got our Mr. Heater, but we're not gonna turn that on quite yet. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is steal this off of here. Let's see if we can use up what's left. I should have taken this off the last time I used it. Apparently, it, if you leave them on, sometimes it leaks. See, as soon as I took that off, you can actually smell a little propane, so be careful. Uh, sometimes it's frustrating when things don't go your way, but when it all works out in the end and you've figured out how to solve the situation, I think uh, that's a good sign. It really is. All right, so we got our base. We don't need that box anymore. So I guess we'll put our base. Yeah, this seems really, really empty, but I want to make sure it is 100% empty. Nice big base to stop it from falling over. Perfect. I'm gonna keep my eye on it big time. So it's just a screw on top or a screw on. So we'll screw that on, see what happens. I'm not sure if this has just on off and I'm gonna to have to use my lighter. Just to give you guys a heads up, it does say do not use in a, an enclosed space, but we just wanna heat up our food. Then we're gonna shut it off, open a window, but uh, we are hungry. So I believe that can was definitely empty. So we'll get the new can out, place her on top of the base, get our cooking surface, turn that on. Yeah, I can hear it now. Oh boy, here we go. Can you guys see? Kind of, is that better right there? Light lighter, turn nozzle. So yeah, let's turn on to like a medium. Nothing very close to it. Let's get this food heated up. I, I reread the recipe and it did say add some water. Pour that down there a little bit. It says bring to a boil, so we might need more water. I'll put that over there. I'm gonna stir it a bit. Needed a bigger pan for sure. I even halved the recipe. Now we're cooking. I'm gonna need this <laughs> oven mitts real soon. Try to keep the heat in a bit. I'll let you know how it goes. That's what we're supposed to be hearing, right there. There's a few noodles in there that still look like they're not 100%. Stop sticking to the bottom. A little bit longer. Well guys, I think it's done. I hope it's done. So what I'm gonna do, shut off the heat, push that off to the door, let that cool down. Don't touch the side. The problem with living in a very small space, you gotta move stuff constantly to make room for more stuff. Okay. So, We'll try and do our best. I almost put that on my knee. Not a good idea. Okay. We'll try and fill up our bowl without spilling it everywhere. Oh, please don't do it. Spilt. Yeah, 
there's enough in here for four people. So I'll put that off to the side. Does that look good? Look at the steam coming off that. Woo! So you're supposed to put cheese on top. Extra cheese on top. And then we'll get these things, which I've never I've never bought these before. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever bought these. Oh my goodness, they look scrumptious. Oh, little deep fried onion crisps. Mm. Holy cow, that's what's gonna make it right there. There we go. There we go. Looks like we're gonna have enough for another time. My goodness, that looks delicious. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to try that. The recipe will be in the description. Let's give it a shot. Uh, it also said if you want to kind of uh, southwestern it, uh, take out the Worcestershire sauce and uh, put in Frank's Red Hot and something else. Again, it'll be in the description below. Cheers, guys. Mmm. Oh, that's good. I'm wondering if it'd be better if you stirred in that cheese, got it melty, all nice and melty, but that is scrumptious. And again, it's nice when you have your pot holder. It is still crazy hot, man. The onion crisps are an amazing touch. Mm. It's very hot, but it is very good. This is definitely one of those camping um, treats you can have. There's a spot right here. There, we can put my head in there. Mm. Now, because we're in a parking lot, I can't have my beer because if a police pull up on me, this is uh, not an RV, it's just a van and you can't be drinking in the back of your van. So we'll have to save those for another day. If you are hungry and you're looking for an awesome treat, as long as you have fuel in your camp stove, you can make this pretty quick and uh, you'll enjoy it as much as I have. That has definitely raised the temperature in here. It's 15 degrees Celsius. It was 10 when we first parked. Temperature outside is probably going down. It's minus four degrees outside. It's minus four degrees, 15 in here because we cooked. Now the, uh, the pan is radiating heat. This is radiating heat. So we'll have to use the, uh, the heater for a little bit. I've got a, a surprise for you guys in the next video. I bought a three candle lantern and apparently you can stay warm with that. And if need be, you can cook with it. And I bought it a couple weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, but I haven't had time to make a video on it. It's sitting in the front of Rusty but maybe in the next video we'll do staying warm with three candles with a three candle lantern. Ooh. Like I said, stay tuned. So now we are going to do the Nutter Butter Chocolate Covered. Let me know if you've ever had Nutter Butter. I don't recall ever having a Nutter Butter in my whole life. Uh, I've had uh, a cookie that's very similar, I think, to another butter is, um, what are they called? Pirate cookies? Pirate uh, peanut butter cookies. And same kind of like texture and crunch to them. And uh, when I bit this, it actually tastes like a crispy crunch. 
and uh, so it's all covered in chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me know in the comments below, would you love to try another butter chocolate covered? I'll definitely be buying these again. They're pretty good. Time to put some of this stuff back in the fridge. Put some of the food stuff in there. This is cooled down now, so we'll put that in there too. And uh, yeah, put the locks on. Time to sit back and relax. It's down to 14 degrees in here, so I might not have to use uh, my heater at all. We'll see. All right, guys, it's been a very challenging day. Uh, I'm going to get some shot eye. It's around 1030 and uh, shut all the lights off, then hit the hay and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Have a good night. Okay, sleep last night. It's a pretty noisy parking lot, but uh, did definitely get some good sleep. It looks like it snowed overnight. Uh, I think it was minus six this morning. Outside, it is minus minus one here in the van. Good old rusty, keeping me a little bit warmer than the outside temperatures. Way to go, Rusty. I think we're gonna get up. Let's see if we can uh, make a coffee in here. My wife bought me a, a tin of like Starbucks instant coffee and we'll need a coffee for the drive home. Yep, it did snow. Let's see how fast we can uh, make a cup of coffee. slide very well on this thing. It's just great. I'm always worried about that. That's why I like measuring in the actual cup. You know it's going to fit. Let's see if I put the right amount of coffee. Cheers, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Too hot to really get a good, 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 uh, good taste test.
It'll do, donkey. It'll do. And it is now six degrees in here because of the car and because of the cooker. All right, let's go take a peek outside and then we'll head home. a bit of snow. Still snowing. Sun's trying to peek through. Other than that, not too cold of a day. Kind of mild. Thanks for uh, letting us stay here, Walmart. You rock. Check this thing. See if it's doing its job. Looks still pretty dry. Yep. It's not really doing anything. It's not like capturing any water. It doesn't seem like it. Maybe it is keeping it dry in here. Maybe there's not enough moisture for it to like do the whole process where it leaves a big puddle of water in the bottom big puddle of sludge all right guys thanks for hanging out with me on this very frustrating video uh i will try my best to have uh everything a little more organized i think i thought i had everything organized but the stove just didn't work so i guess that wasn't really my fault but i think the last time we used it it was giving me problems so i should have looked into it then all right so we have a new stove i'll see about replacing this one um and because paul has two or three of them that's why i bought it and he says he's had never never had an issue but he's never cooked outside in the winter time so i'm thinking it's a cold issue so i'll bring it in the house and, and do a little test on it anyway guys i hope you like this video uh please send me your favorite recipes you want for dinner for two kind of recipes um basically send it to kendomic at kendomic.ca it's my website i'm working on it i'm trying to make it better so you guys have somewhere for all my stuff is going to be in that one spot uh you'll be able to watch videos check my twitter stuff i uh, look up pictures and there's going to be a whole lot of stuff on there but that's where i want you guys to email me from www.kendomic.ca website all right guys send me your um your recipes and i'll give you a shout out if i use it i hope it's uh something you guys know what i like if you've been around long enough you guys know what i like and what i don't like so send me what you know i like and hopefully i'll uh, use it and i'll give you a big shout out so once again guys thank you very much for all your support on this channel you guys are amazing with your views your likes your comments and of course all my uh, supporters uh on the channel memberships you guys rock and of course my supporters over on patreon you guys also rock if you like this video and you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you hit it with a thumbs up ding 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 but if you're still hungry for more check out that playlist i dumped down over there and we'll see you over there bring your hunger